So the vision for Applebrook was a group of founders who loved the game of golf and really uh, were looking to do something special and, and to create uh, a beautiful setting for golf, a beautiful club predicated on walking, a much more traditional uh, approach to the design, something that sort of harkened back to the original school of architecture here in Philadelphia. You know, we knew that the founders of this club were heavy hitters in Philadelphia golf, and it was the chance for us to show our talent and, and show what we believed about golf course design. Well, we had beautiful trees, really kind of very natural topography. And then we had the upper section of the property that had been graded for these commercial lots. It was almost a tale of two sites. When you get down you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's all that sort of beautiful natural ground. Everything else above that was we had to manufacture. We tried to create bunkers that, that were reminiscent of, of Marion and the, the beauty and the simplicity and the lines and Bill Kittleman who was a longtime pro at Marion, was with us here almost day in and day out. So we were delighted. I think Applebrook validated our presence in, the, in this golf architecture landscape. Some of my favorite aspects of the course were the proximity of green to tee. I've always felt like the green complexes here were very interesting and challenging to play, but not predicated on a bunch of humps and bumps and a ton of, of undulation, but more on slope. I've always loved the 12th hole. I think it's, it's got so much character. It's strategically interesting. It's got great stories to go with it. You know, the, the hazard down the right-hand side of Bill Kittleman used to call that the, the caldera. And we said, pro, why do you call it the caldera? And he said that one of the levels of hell from Dante's Inferno is the caldera. And if you get in it, you're going to be cursing and you're not going to really be excited about where you are. If you play down that right side, now you've got a much better angle into the green. And then if you play away from the caldera and you get down the left, now you're coming into the green at a poor angle with the bunker in front. But then that little ridge that runs across also blocks your vision of the green. So the further left you go, you see the green and you see the flag, but you don't see anything between that ridge. And so we tried to obscure your vision. So not only do you have to fly it over the bunker to a green that's not receptive from the left, you also have difficulty of discerning you know, that depth perception issue. So I think there are a lot of things that are going on in that hole. It's the transitional hole from the created landscape to the natural landscape. I'm so fortunate to be in a business where our we get to leave behind 180 acres of fun. Every young person needs to have somebody give them a break and show confidence and trust them. And, and the founders here did that. You, know, you can look at varying degrees of greatness, right? The you know, National Golf Links or Pine Valley or the old course is the, you know, the highest form of golf architecture, but it shares very much in common with Applebrook that you never get tired of playing.